afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Kilmarnock uh, Policy Meeting. Um, apologies for... I can introduce a, a bond uh, from... a uh, legislator from Rosary, who's uh, in place of, uh, for today, Jeanette. Item 4 is the uh, area-based review. Basically, uh, this is an update, which is the area-based review, which will uh, come to us towards the end of October. But Sue, do you want to do uh, an update for us? Give us uh, some views on where we're actually at. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. The, the area review is, is now at its midpoint um, of the process. And the first stage has proved to be very mechanistic and it's working to a structured agenda of theme steering group meetings which will end in October. And this national process has been heavily weighted towards delivering options that address the financial sustainability of colleges. And they've not so far allowed sufficient airtime for a meaningful dialogue on how the curriculum is meeting the needs of employers and the needs of, the, of learners in the city region. So in order to address this, the chair of the steering group, Councillor Mayor, taking steps to consider the potential impact of the college proposals and we've got a number of working groups that are in progress at the minute and, and just to give you a flavour of what we're trying to do um, we're looking at options for apprenticeships and in particular how do we maximise the opportunities afforded by the apprentice reforms and the introduction of the levy, levy and how do we make sure we make the most of that within the city region next year we are also considering areas of specialisation and in particular how vocational and technical routes for employment from the age of 14 can make sure that they're delivered across the piece and they're reflecting the needs of our employers. We also know that the city region's requirements for special educational needs provision is set to increase over the coming years. So we've asked the colleges how they're going to respond to that increase in numbers and how they're going to deliver a more coherent and joined up provision ties in with specialist skills as well. But we're also looking to introduce more strategic engagement with the FE sector in curriculum planning so that we can make sure that the college is supporting the economic priorities and any emerging economic development and priorities for learners. So all of these areas of work will form the basis of some combined authority recommendations that will get into, written into the review as we progress. We've also carried out some validation meetings with our local authority officers and the details of that are included in the appendix to the report. And we're also working with the LEP and we'll be holding another employer consultation event later on in September to try and triangulate all the views on this. Council Mayor's also got an additional steering group introduced in, in October where we'll bring all of this together before the final recommendations are made at the, the last steering group. off with is the, the review is the beginning of the process and there will be a much stronger role for the combined authority to move into the implementation phase which will take um, some time and will lead up to commissioning decisions that will have the combined authority on the future adult skills um, budget. So it's a 
which is a, a, a heading. We will also have done some of this work on the curriculum and we'll be, able, we'll be looking to get input from across the piece with the combined authority of the left to inform that work. So, yes. Okay, because I, I think it's important that, that, that we, we uh, make it absolutely clear that you know, we want to it, not, not only. to um, item uh, five, which is the, uh, the, the LCR Department for Transport Access Fund bid submission. I, 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 I don't know whether there's any comments to make it pretty straightforward for the report. It's on 21 to 30 of your agenda. Um, I, I think it's just basically for not to I think it's pretty clear. Is there any comments you want to make? Item is uh, item uh, six, which is the um, combined authority governance review scheme, um, and it's a uh, consultation on the governance review. Uh, David, do you want to uh, um, okay. over that side? Uh, do you want to take us through that, please? Sure, I think the report is fairly self-explanatory. It's a detailed report which reports the consultation that's taken place across the Liverpool city region on the proposals that were set out in the devolution deal which the combined authority and the constituent local authorities agreed in uh, November of last year. What this process is to do is to uh, ensure the public understand what that uh, is all about and seek their views. You can see those represented in the detailed information at the back of the report uh, and the recommendations are to progress with the matter to the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State will then have due regard to those representations before determining whether it's appropriate to make an order to establish the processes to deliver the combined authority mayoral model from May onwards. Okay, and so it, it is pretty clear that the, the report, and it's a technical report, but it's one that we have to uh, support. Can, can I just, at this juncture, say thank you to yourself but also to Jeanette Lockman and to the officers uh, leading on this because it's been a uh, hard slog and, and took up a, a lot of valuable time uh, of people. So on behalf of the, the combined authority members that have been uh, put on record with our thanks to everybody that's been engaged in, in that process. Uh, okay, with that said, the recommendations are set out on page 31. Can we agree those, please? Uh, 
Item uh, 7 is the devolution of powers and resources to the city region. It's a progress on the executive capacity. It's on point 15 to 178 uh, on the report. It's, a, it's linked to the governance review of the combined authority uh, and it identifies the needs to have the capacity in place to deliver on our commitments. Uh, and it sets out the next steps. Do you have any comments you want to make on, on, on this? Chair, really, we're, we're looking for you to, uh, to make two decisions. Really. One is, is a, a technical procedural thing, but nonetheless uh, significant, which is to uh, vary the constitution of the CA to allow it to uh, take forward processes associated with recruitment and employment of individuals as part of the capacity piece. And the second point is uh, the specifics in order to do that. I'm recommending uh, the establishment of a quick and disciplinary panel and look into the full nominations about the composition. So uh, can we uh, agree that, please? Agreed. Okay. Um, and then if we uh, move on to uh, item 8, which is the Combined Budgets Authority Monitoring Statement for April. Um, and our final report today is uh, the quarterly budget monitoring statement. And it's just an update, really. So uh, can we uh, agree that, uh, please? It's pretty clear the report clearly states Uh, moving on, is item nine is the uh, Mersey Travel Committee minutes. Uh, as you know, we, uh, we endorse those uh, minutes as a, uh, a record uh, of accuracy. So are these minutes confirmed on pages 183 to 194? Can we read them, please? Okay, and then uh, item 10 is the minutes of the Liverpool City Region Combined Authority Orders uh, Committee held on the 5th of uh, April. Um, so, uh, are these confirmed, please? Okay. And then it's the uh, internal orders uh, report, which is item 11, and the order committee uh, asked that we note this annual report uh, by the head of internal orders. Can we uh, just, in fact, note that report, please? Okay. So, I've not been uh, notified of any other items of agency uh, for the meeting, so can I uh, close the meeting?